Hi guys, today we are going to be doing a past paper. Uh, we're going to be starting with question one from the 2019 paper, the NSC paper. So let's get going. So question 1.1, they usually start with a fairly simple question. It is a trinomial that we need to factorize. So x squared plus 5x minus 6x equals 0. So our factors are going to be, our factors of x are going to be, x, well, x squared are going to be x and x, and the factors of 6 are either going to be 3 and 2 or 6 and 1. It's negative, so I know, I know that it's going to be a positive and a negative opposite signs, and it's more positive. So the bigger number is going to be the positive number. And if I get 6x minus x, it gives me 5x. Zero, so x equals 0. So x equals minus 6 or x equals 1. Okay, now the next question says to the nearest decimal place. So when you see that, this is important. This is a little, a little tip. If you sat there trying to factorize this, you, would you wouldn't get there because it, it doesn't factorize into whole numbers. So when you see this, correct to do to two decimal places, that means you basically use the quadratic formula. Okay, so 1.1.2 1 I'm not going to write out the question. I'm just going to go straight into it. Let's look at the quadratic formula. It's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right. Now, our b is three, our, well, our a is four, our b is three. So let me just make a note here. So this, you can maybe skip ahead a little bit if you already know this, but here we've got a, b is three, and c is five. Okay. So those are your a, b, and c. So let's fill that into the formula. Okay, so we've got x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4. a is 4, c is minus 5. All over 2a, 2 times 4. So what I do is I just get out my calculator and I put that straight into the calculator. Uh, negative three plus square root of three squared minus. Now, if you have a silver calculator, you can use that equation function and I can do another video on that if you put it in the comments below if you're not sure of how to use the silver calculator to calculate your um, without have, to calculate your factors without putting in the quadratic formula. But if you do use your silver calculator, just remember that you don't get marks for just putting in your answer. So you have to still write out the quadratic formula. But the only difference is you'll, instead of having to put this whole thing, this negative three plus, um, plus or minus the, the, what, the rest of the equation, um, you would just put your equation function in and it would give you the answers, but you would still write this so that it looked like you were actually doing the work. So it's a little bit of a trick. Um, 
And so you get x equals negative 3 plus root 89 all over 8. And that could also be minus, which is equal to. Uh, and so you do your SD button. It's correct to two decimal places. So it's 0, 0, And then we just go back and we change. So we keep it. We don't, we don't delete it. All we do is we change the plus to a minus. And we get or negative one comma five five. Okay, so those are your answers there. Right, one point one point three. is an inequality. So basically what we do here is we treat it like a, an equation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say critical values first. And then I put in 4x squared minus 1 and I make it equal to 0 because I'm, I'm just finding the critical values. And so I take that it will be 2x minus 1 or 2x plus 1. And so my critical values are x equals a half or x equals minus a half. Then what I do is I take those critical values and I put them on a number line. Okay. So I put a half here, minus a half here, and a half here. It's plus a half. Ooh. Okay, so there's two ways of doing it. One is I can test, because what I know now is I know the critical values. Um, this 4x squared minus 1, because this 4 is positive, it means I have an upward sloping graph. So in other words, if I have a positive value, I have, an up, I have a smiley face graph. And if I have a negative value, I have a sad graph. Okay, It's positive 4, so it would be a happy graph. So my graph would look like this. Okay. And so I can see that over here, below the graph is negative, and over here, it's positive and positive. And so when I look now, it says it's greater than, it's less than zero, so it's all the places where it's negative. So it is over here. Oh, I've done that. Okay. I haven't done that too well, but. You can see it's below. So my final answer is I start negative a half and a half, x in the middle because it's between these two values, and because it's a not greater to it's a less than sign, not a less than an equal to. I just use these same ones it's between these two values. Now, the second way you can do this is you can just test. So you test a number between a half, negative a half and a half, which would be zero. If you put zero in here, you see that it's zero minus one gives you negative one, and negative one is less than zero. So you know that it's true over here. And on either side, when you put it in, you're actually gonna have a value that's greater than one. So it's not true on either side. So there's two ways of doing that. Okay, so 
that's your answer for this is your final answer here underlined in red.